Where's my controller? Definitely need that. Wait, what? It was literally right in front of me. I am tripping. You know what though? I think I'm tripping for a good reason. Because 2K released these Showtime X Level Up packs. And am I excited? I mean, I don't know. Now, let me explain my reasoning. First of all, look at the prices of these packs. We've got 11K VC for just one pack, 106K for a 10 pack box, and 213 for a 20 pack up. That is insane. And there's an under 2% chance at an Amethyst or higher. So we're back to seeing it under 2%. Two percent, and I don't know. I just don't like seeing that. If you're wondering, the players in the packs are Amethyst Julia Serving, Amethyst Vince Carter, Amethyst Anthony Davis, who I need. And if you're able to get every single one of these level up players, then you get yourself an Amethyst Sean Kemp, who you can also evolve. So yeah, it's good content, but it's the under two percent chance on these really expensive packs that I'm worried about. The good thing is though, we can just buy all of these Amethysts for a hundred thousand VC or a hundred forty thousand MT, which I actually think is a good deal. But I love opening packs, and that's why. I'm a little scared because I'm kind of like, what's the point on opening up these packs? Like I could buy this 120 pack box and give myself an under 2% chance at getting one amethyst, or I could just come over and buy two amethysts that I want for even cheaper. So you can see what I'm saying, but does Killsmoy ever have a brain? There's literally nothing in there, like nothing at all. That actually really sounded hollow. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's not great. So that's why we're gonna open up one 20 pack box. I'm gonna see if this is worth it, as I really don't think it will be. 213,000 VC. You guys better smash that like button. Let's see if we can get 213,750 likes on this video. If you guys get that, I will, um, I'll, I'll cut off my eyelashes. Fun fact, my eyelashes are actually quite long. Anyway, let's get into this box. This is such a bad idea. Like these packs aren't even deluxe packs, so we're not guaranteed a player from the set either. We wanna see a shake, but but I don't know. I have no hope in it. As we do get Desmond Mason, which is an evolution player. He also has a duo as well. So that's a bit of a dub with the level up players. And really that's one thing we're looking for. We're hoping to add those players to the collection. So there's D Brown. And a lot of these cards are going to be extremely good for the salary cap mode. We do get, what is that? A is that a Ruby player or a Ruby coach? It's I, it's a coach. Okay, it's Joe Missoula. We get Desmond Mason again. The whole thing is, is all these emeralds, I could just buy for about what? Like 5,000 MT or something as we get a gold. Great. Are they deluxe packs? Because right now we're really just getting the level up players. But if I get one shake, one shake, I'm happy. This is a Ruby and it's Mitch Richmond. Let's go. Okay, that's a dub out of this box because he evolves up to an Amethyst. And that means now the Sean Kemp set is going to be super cheap. All right, that makes me feel a little bit better. Just a little bit better. One Amethyst out of this box and then I am super happy with it. The thing that a lot of people aren't talking about either with packs is the fact that yes, you do get all the items as well. Like you got to remember items are a bit rare now. Like for example, uniforms and stuff like that that can go towards your collection and so on. They're actually like rare because not too many people are opening up packs. So I guess it's a dub with me opening up packs and me, that's not a player, that's a coach. That's so annoying. I literally... We do get a Sapphire, which I guess is good. Level up. It is level up. Okay, we're pretty much going to co collect the entire set. Mike Brown. I just got him out of my coach option pack. In my opinion, Mike Brown is the best coach in the game, by the way. As I think I'm going to post a video on it, but he allows my Shaquille O'Neal to have a 95 speed, which is insane. As we get a gold player. Okay, well, they're not guaranteed. That's our first pack without getting a level up player. And we haven't seen one of the Showtime players. And that's all I want to see. For obvious reasons, because they go for like 130,000 MT. So that'll be so nice. As we do get a Ruby and it's Mitch Richmond again. I'm just going to have to quick sell him, which is quite sad. Also, another sad thing about opening up packs is I can't like put him in my auctions and then go and grade my other one to try and get more MT. I just have to quick sell this one at the end of the box. And you got to remember, I'm an avid pack opener and I'm saying that I don't really love packs right now. So... I don't know. It's a bit sad. That's why it's a sad day for your boy, but it's a bit weird. The fact I'm saying it's sad when I can just guarantee myself to get the card, but hey, that's just the way my brain works. As I said, there's nothing in there and we get a shake. Let's go, baby. Okay. Now it's good. Now this box is good. And now I feel like it was actually worth the VC because we got money, Mitch, and now we get an amethyst. I want Anthony Davis. I actually don't really care which one it is, but Anthony Davis is the one that will 100% be my team. AD, please let's see it and let's get it power forward small forward okay it's either dr j it's gonna be dr j and this card does look really good he has a 98 drive
diving dunks. So Dr. J, welcome to the team. I think he might be my backup shooting guard and he's gonna be unreal. Or maybe I'll use him at small forward, I don't know. Anyway, what a pull from this box. Hey, we got our first Amethyst out of these packs. That's only my second Amethyst pull, I think actually out of boxes because last week they did have the prime boxes and we were able to get good things out of that. But that was guaranteed. And we got a holo card last time too. We haven't seen one other holo in our entire pack opening other than that Amethyst, which was insane. Because if you didn't see my video, I sold one of my Amethyst holo cards for what was it? Like, I think it was like 330,000 MT, which is pretty crazy to think about, but I'm very glad we did get one Amethyst. The question is, can we make it two? We're up to the final pack of this box. CJ McCollum, he is a great player. Can we get another great player? Being Vince Carter or Anthony da No, we cannot. Do we get a ruby? No, we do not. A gold. Okay. But looking at all this stuff we have, it is quite sad that I'm going to have to sell it. This money Mitch sells for 42,000 MT. I wish I could grade him, but we're just going to have to sell this all and make 63k. I'm happy with that. Let's give me that MT. I love it. Literally, all I needed is this Thompson card and then we get Sean Kent. I mean, that's pretty cool. What is this money Mitch's? Okay, just 33. So that's so easy. And then, yeah, he goes up to an Amethyst and gets some pretty good upgrades. Anyway, before we do anything else, I'm actually going to open up this 10 pack box of NBA Series 1 packs because I was able to get this from Unlimited. I've been playing a lot of Unlimited recently and actually really enjoying it, but I think it's just because we have the most dominant team in the game. And I want to continue to do that as we get Tyrese Halliburton right there by getting this Anthony Davis because he's 100% a card that will make it onto my team. Dylan Brooks right there. He popped off in the FIBA World Cup. I want to get another player that's popped off recently. Jalen Duran. Don't think that's you, but let's see who we're able to get out of this. One Sapphire is a dub. We really don't care for all of these goals. I don't even know why I'm showing this, but I feel like packs nowadays, as I said, are a bit boring. This is... Hey, John Moran, I'll take that. Because I am trying to get my collector level up and I feel like I am going to buy every single player possible. So I kind of feel like this is a win to be able to open up this 10-pack box and see what we're able to get as what just happened there. I don't even know. Okay, another gold card. Cool. It wasn't even a gold. It was actually Drew Holiday, but we're on pack number eight. This just shows you how quick you actually can open up packs if you want to fly through them. These are unsellable players, which is a oh, diamond. Is that it? Diamond shoe. I kind of forgot you could pull those. That's so interesting. Anyway, I'd say this box is pretty good, especially because we got another Sapphire. Let's go. I don't know. I feel. Should I do one more box? I don't know. Or should I just buy who I want? I could spend 218,000 and get every card I need. I also just realized you can actually go buy all and get all the amethysts for only 249,000 VC. That's almost the same price as one box. Yeah, don't do boxes. Now I'm going to stick to my word and I'm going to show you guys why. And we're actually just going to buy these with our VC. I can't believe I'm doing this because I hate doing it. I just feel like it's so boring, but there we go with all three of the Showtime players. You get Hall of Fame Post Riser plus every bronze badge. Is that good? I don't know. I feel like that's not a crazy reward, but it's not terrible. And then finally, I'm actually going to buy this card with MT. We're going to get the final Sapphire that we need and bang, we just got Amethyst Sean Kemp. If you're wondering, all these Amethysts sell for 56,000 MT, which isn't too much. So it's like, do I lock in? I don't know. I'm definitely going to lock this one in for Sean Kemp because I feel like he looks like a beast and he's going to be so good on my team. You just have to get 25 dunks to evolve him. That's pretty easy. He definitely gets some pretty good stat boosts and also some pretty good badges. You know what? This is a terrible idea. I am going to lock this in. I don't know why. There's no point. I may as well just not do this, but we just did. I, as I said, no brain. Now we have one of the biggest packs we've ever opened. This pack contains 65 cards. Let's do it though. This is so weird. I kind of feel like it was like random badges rather than every single bronze badge. Like if it said that it was like a chance at a Hall of Fame badge, it would be so much better. But the fact it's just bronze badges is pretty annoying and pretty boring. But I guess it means that when a player you actually want to badge out comes out, or if you need to put bronze badges on any of your players, it's kind of nice. The fact that you're guaranteed to get these badges as there's our Hall of Fame posterizer. Because that's the thing. If you don't open up packs, you're really not getting too many badges, which is kind of weird this year. But at least they do have the badge packs that you can just open up with VC or MT. So if you really wanted to get badges, you can, I guess. It kind of reminds me back in the day of like 2K18 when the only way to get diamond shoes were in packs and you had to get super lucky to get them. And diamond shoes were so OP as they gave you plus nine boost to pretty much like every single stat that was needed, like three pointer, excel and speed. So I don't know. It sort of reminds me of that. Do I love it? I don't know, but we're getting through this badge pack pack, badge pack, bro, what am I even saying? It is taking a long time to get through this though. Do I just cut the video? Do I just cut me speaking? I, I feel like I have to. Let's just keep on going through one more. One more. Surely this is the end of it, is it? One more. 
Still one more. Lovely. Oh, that was it. It was only one more. Anyway, we do have some level up challenges. And if you're able to complete every single one of these challenges, they're pretty easy. You get yourself a deluxe level up pack. It says only level up though. So I guess that means you can't get Showtime players out of it. But there are skill challenges for a Showtime X level up pack, where if you complete both of these challenges, which are just triple threat games, you get a free Showtime X level up pack. So I'm going to quickly do all of these agendas and all of these skill challenges. Then I'll get the packs and we'll open them up together. So I guess I'll see you in a little bit. And there we go. We got our pack. And that one was just from completing these challenges. Then if I come over to my agenda, we also did this. We're going to get so many other random things. But most importantly, we get the level chance pack. And I was able to do every single one of these challenges in the agenda, just in those challenges right there. So that's what I recommend doing. So now we've got our Showtime X level up pack. I always recommend to make sure you grade your players before you open up these packs if you already have some, but I haven't. So um, we don't get a shake, a bit sad. Please say something better than... A Sapphire is pretty good, to be honest, out of a free pack. That's like 6,000 MT. I'll take Ruby, Rudy Tomjanovic. Like it means now, if I go down here, he could quick sell for 525 MT. I'm going to go swap player. I'm going to sell this one for 10,080. That's pretty good. Kind of wish I evolved him now because then he might've gone for more. Actually really wish I did that. And I'm going to do the same thing with this level up equal chance pack. This should give us an equal chance at any of the players. So really we should have the same chance at getting Ruby, a Ruby player as we do pretty much like a gold player. So who are we going to get a sapphire again what no this is bad this is real bad no it's not okay i got who i wanted i thought it was going to be rudy i kind of forgot about this car because that means now i'll do the same thing i'll swap him out and sell this one for 10,080. i should have evolved him I didn't. Anyway, I'm going to evolve this Sean Kemp now. We need to get 14 more dunks. And we've now done the dunks. So now we can evolve this Sean Kemp. And just like that, bam, he's now going to be a 91 overall. And look at the stats. He looks like a beast. But most importantly, this team looks crazy. We've obviously got the evolved Sean Kemp. We've got Vince Carter, Dr. J, and Anthony Davis. I'm hyped to see how this squad goes. We are 1-0 on our championship weekend. So let's make it two. Squad, I'm excited. Let's get it. Okay, this team is nothing too crazy. And it's his first game. I actually feel bad for my opponent. Could you imagine loading into the game and then realizing you're going against this team? Yeah, I'm sorry. Shaq, just start us off very strong. And man, I'm so excited to finally have good power forwards in this game. Just because I feel like it's a position that I've been lacking in for quite a while. I should have just taken that. But Vince, what's your release? It's fire. That's green. Especially because previously all my power forwards were unable to shoot. Like I had Giannis and then I had what's his face. Um, You know who I'm talking about. Yeah, you guys got it. Julius Randle. That's who I was going to say. Vince Carter again, back to back, bang. I think my opponent's a park player. I can already tell just with the way he's playing and with the way he's getting these releases down pat. There's Sean Kemp for us. Like, yeah, he's absolutely splashing with Kyrie. And I think the reason for that is he's got Kyrie from getting these... Sean, got it, okay. All I need is just one stop. One stop and then I feel so confident, but my opponent's just really good with this Kyrie. That's the one thing I will say, and you'll see right here. It's a pretty good shot by him, and unfortunately for him, he does miss. So finally, we get that stop we were talking about, and I'm looking at our boy Vince once again. Or maybe we're looking at, yeah, we've got it. Uh, what's his release? I got it. Let's go, Sean Kemp. There we go. Great defense there by Sean Kemp. And now we're on the fast break, and Scotty Pippen isn't gonna let us down. What a rebound. What a rebound by Sean Kemp. He's got takeover as well. Dude, look at that behind the back. Let's go a spin. Let's take this. What a play. That's another steal. Oh my word. This Sean Kemp is insane with the steals. I'm looking at Vince this time. Vince. He got it. Okay, we should be out here. I'm just kicking it straight up to him. It's a bit of a tough pass, but Sean Kemp makes the most of it. And there we go with his first rebound. Okay, and I'm looking at Dr. J this time. Dr. J off the bench as well. Let's pump fake this. Take it baseline. It's a tough take, but he gets it to go. That's great, dude. Like, absolutely beautiful defense. We pull down the rebound too. Dr. J, I'm looking at you. Let's pull the fading three. And Dr. J misses. All right, it's all good. We've got Anthony Davis out here. It might be three in the key, but AD gets through Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson, you've got nothing on me. Let's go up this time and get the slam. Okay, here we go. AD, your first ever three. That's a nice release. That is nice. I really want Dr. J to score for me. Surely this time. Surely it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen again, but AD is there and AD is going to get us a two. The fact I haven't got one dunk with Julius Eving or also Vince Carter is quite concerning, but that's good defense there. That's good defense. We pull down the rebound as well. And is this our time? Is this our time? The final time, Vince Carter will get another three. All right, I've got Sean Kemp at the line. What's his free throw? It's money. It's an easy free throw to get down. We've got it that time. Yep. I want Vince to get a dunk for me and surely, surely he will. Oh, oh let's kick that one out. It almost didn't work, but it is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
don't even ask me what happened. I've got the ball in Vince's hands now. I just want to see what this card can do because we haven't even got a dunk with him and surely, surely we have to. What a finish though. Vince, I need a dunk with you. That's one of the most important thing. Mm. Oh, what? He got it. I feel like that one doesn't count. Like, I wish I could count it, but I really don't think I will. Vince this time, that's a real dunk. Okay, we should have Vince wide open here. We don't miss his release. It is money. I think I can quite confidently say this. Um, Our boy Vince Carter will be... Well, that's an N1. That's an N1. But yes, he will be either my starting or my backup. Sh small forward. No, shooting guard. Oh, what a steal by Dr. J. Okay, we've got him on because now we've got every single one of the players on. That's new. So I'm excited to see what Dr. J can do because he's the one player we really haven't scored too much with this game. What about poster? What about that poster? I guess that shows you what the 98 driving gun dunk can do. And what about back out to Vince this time? Vince, do you want to join the party? Yeah. Vince Carter, baby! I feel bad for this opponent. The fact it's his first unlimited game and he's going to get so literally the best team in the game. But hey, we, we had to play well. I mean, he is a good player, so I really can't be mad. I'm just surprised we haven't scored a three this entire game with this Dr. J. So Dr. J, you've got five seconds to prove your worth. Can you get a three for us on the buzzer? I didn't want it to fade, but it didn't go in either. We won by 31 points. And look at this stat line. Vince Carter with 25 points. Sean Kemp with 19. Anthony Davis with 9 points, 9 rebounds. And then Julius Irving with 6. I do not like his release, if you can't tell. I don't know if it's just a skill issue, though. We ranked up as well. And now we're 2-0 in the championship weekend. And I got to say, I'm super happy with this team. I'm actually going to move Anthony Davis to the starting power forward. Then I'm going to move Vince Carter to the bench. I'm going to take out Julius Irving. And I'm going to put in Tracy McGray. This is going to be my team now and it just looks beautiful. So I would recommend this Anthony Davis. I would recommend Vince as well. But to be honest, I think Sean Kemp is the best card of them all. Especially because we don't have too many power forwards so far this year. But yeah, what a crazy video. We got every single card. We pulled an Amethyst. So I gotta say I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.